Okay, today I'm going to be fixing this Freshman Masterpiece radio from 1926. Here is a better view of the radio. Currently, the radio does not have any vacuum tubes in it. I'm going to guess it uses all O1A tubes, because that's common in radios like this, battery-operated radios from the 1920s. So that's my guess. It takes all O1A tubes. And luckily, I have some extra O1A tubes. Okay, I have placed all type O1A tubes in the radio. Now we will connect the radio to a power source. Okay, so usually these two binding posts right here would be connected to your A battery, which is 6 volts. And these binding posts right here would go to your B battery. This being the negative, these two being the positive for your detector and amplifier. Um, your B battery would be about 90 volts, and your A battery would be 6 volts. This binding post would go to the earth ground, and this one would go to the aerial or the antenna. Instead of using batteries, I'm going to be using this DC power supply, which is variable. And I will be using an AC, a 6 volt AC transformer with a rectifier for the A battery. Okay, I have the 6 volt transformer that goes to the rectifier connected in place of the A battery. This will not provide the best sound quality, but at least it will make the radio functional so I can test it. Let's test the tube filaments. They are all glowing. Okay, let's ground the radio to an earth ground. And let me bend this way. Okay, the mouth of the plug, I always picture the plug like a face, or the 120 volt outlet like a face. The mouth would be the ground that goes to the earth. Okay, now I'm going to plug in the B battery and adjust the voltage. Okay, we have 90 volts. Let's do 45 volts, just to be safe. Okay, the B battery is about 45 volts. Now I will plug in the speaker. The speaker's from the 1920s as well. Okay, now I will turn on the switch on the radio, which turns on the filaments of the tubes. So it's not the best sound quality because I'm using an AC transformer through a rectifier. Okay, now I'm going to connect a 6 volt battery in place of the 6 volt transformer and rectifier. This should improve the sound. Okay, I'm using 4 series AA batteries for the 6 volt A battery. Um, now I will turn on the radio and the sound should be much improved. Let's try to tune to a different station.